Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more Defender's Quest, Valley of the Foghorns. Last time we saved a bunch of baby dragons and killed a bunch of flesh-eating sheep. Thinking on it, something seems a bit off about that situation. Not entirely sure what, can't put my finger on it, but something seems off. Today we finally reach the records room and probably do more story, so let's go! Yeah. Uh, in between episodes, I've got Azra and a few of the others up to level 30, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna mess some stuff up. Also, I did a slight boo-boo between recording. I accidentally went to the next level, which is why I'm standing here. Otherwise, I would be somewhere else because of auto-saving. Yeah, this game auto-saves, and if you accidentally go into a level before you're ready, it will go ahead and save, uh, like, either during or after the cutscene. So, yeah. Whoops, I wasn't able to record that. However, there is a workaround. Down here you'll see, Movies button. Shazam! Look at that. So, uh, you get to select the cutscenes from any part of the game. That, uh, well, so long as you have gone through it, of course, as you can see. Six, we haven't been there, so no cutscenes, but yeah. Five, scene three, the Royal Records Room. So yeah, we can just jump straight to that, so let's do that. Ding! There's another ding. That means that this room is also important. Although, for the life of me, I cannot remember what you do with the ding screens. There's something. Because there's like this whole thing you have to go through, but I'll be touching on that later on. Here you are, mortals. The Royal Records Room. Who are you calling a mortal? I know you're a dragon, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure you can die, too. What does it say? Heck if I know, this crap's older than I am. The bloodletting makes sense now. It appears to be some sort of ritualistic seal. Descendants, blood of the firstborn. We broke a seal made by the blood of our ancestors. This blood seal can only be unbound by the blood of the ones who created it. But they are all long dead. Yes, but their blood lives on in their direct descendants. The blood of the firstborn, like I said before, weren't you paying attention? But what were they sealing? The powers Elamir took? I am not sure. The language becomes especially difficult. Perhaps Nova can decipher them better than I can. I just noticed there's a bit of blood splattering in the background. Interesting. It's far older than any Quaid I've ever seen before. Then again, you don't look all that young, so you wouldn't have seen much, uh, old stuff. Leaders of the Free Peoples, united. Field of great strife, or conflict. The great king fell. That would be the Quaid king. Fell, but of his allies. Contained the wickedness, bound by sacrifice. Lord Ashanti, his loyal vizier, Kamnat Kozar. And one more, stepping forward in time of calling, foot soldier, of the family Nefir, now lords of the royal collection? These three spilled their blood to contain the evil. Esli Tinok. Esli Tinok? I don't know. It's not a Quaid word. It doesn't belong to any language I'm familiar with. Did you just say Esli Tinop? You know it? Yeah, that guy owes me money. It's some sort of deity worshipped by the blood mad tribes in the Far East. The blood drinker cults? My grandfather spent a good part of his reign trying to eradicate them. Oh, they don't drink it, they just paint things with it. Well, this is really interesting and everything, but there's like a whole mess of Revenant heading this way. Oh, you needn't do anything. I just thought you might like to watch while I single-handedly take care of this situation. Well, not single-handedly. I'll have a little bit of help from truth and justice. Not to mention thunder, lightning, carnage, chaos, triumph, and the executor. Dot dot dot. <laughs> oh, those are my abs. What's that you say? What about my glutes? I didn't ask. Don't worry, Khan and Carissa won't be sitting this one out. Well, I should hope not if they're your glutes. Carissa? You named your butt Carissa? Only half my butt. What about that part right below? Is that a separate muscle? 
I mean, I'd hate to not give it a name if it is, but I can't quite tell. It feels... Like an explosion. Oh boy, Revenant are here. Thank the gods. <laughs> Slag always showing up to, uh... To just distract everybody from everything with himself. <laughs> Alright, what did we leave off with? Ah, okay. Do I want to go with extreme? Um... No, I'm going to go with advanced. We are up to about level 30 or so, but they'll be coming... The enemies will be coming in from extra places, so... Off to advanced, just to be on the safe side. Another ding! I guess it always says the shiny over there. I guess that's just to say, hey, there's a thing here. Alright, now here we go. I, uh, this is basically the only way that you can put everybody. I mean, sure, you got a space there and there, but that is... I also never understood these little gaps right here, but maybe that's just for placing, like, ranged or whatever. I don't know, but yeah. Very limited on space to place anybody in this level, so yeah, here we go. And I put, uh, I put Slag up front, maxed him out, because, uh, he said he's going to single-handedly handle this. So I'm just going to let everybody else be support while he single-handedly helps this, or, uh, handles this, rather. So yeah, I've got him up front, fully maxed out. Here we go, killing the things. Although I will still level the people up, because it's good to have support. And I'm not stupid. I know some stuff will still try to get through. Let's uh, speed this up. Because I am fairly certain I'm winning this. And now to just sit here. <laughs> I love it. Because you're very limited on this map, but really, as long as you have a decent setup, it's not all that difficult. Similar to that previous one. And, yeah, it takes a little bit of experience now in order for them to level up. But, yay, everybody over here is level 30, and everybody here is 26 and up. Cool. I think that's the last of them. This writing. Ezra, how long has your family worked in the Royal Library? I remember visiting my great-grandfather there when I was a girl. Wow, good family line. Long lives. As far as I know, my family has always been there. Our family name literally means of the library. Well, that's fascinating. It says here that the foot soldier... Oh, hey Slag. Yo, check this out. A map of the pit. Is that a... Hey, don't go stealing my cartographical thunder. As I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, it's a map of the pit, complete with... Da-da-da-da! Dramatic pause. An exit! Yeah! And yeah, that is a slightly accurate map to what we've actually been going through, so that's kind of interesting. Cool! So, off we go to the next level, then. Wait, uh, wait, 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 I forgot about a thing. Just quickly pointing this out, I pointed out the, uh, challenges before, and yeah, I'm up to 40 now. Fixing to be up to 50, so that's cool. Next level on this is the, uh, challenge 2. No archers or dragons, and only six defender points. What to do? So yeah, you only get six points to put people, so if you happen to have an army of mercenaries, oh well, you can only use six people, and you can't use ranged attacks. Which, judging by the uh, path that everything takes, it's it's actually fine to just have the melee characters. So yeah, uh, good luck with that. I won't be doing that today, as it's 50 waves, but eh, maybe eventually. Definitely eventually. Let's go do more story. Hey, I remember this one. This one has... Ooh. Warrior Monk's Habit. Ah, crud. Right on the one that I want, it's all worms. All the speedy little buggers plus the shadow worms. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Oh, crap. They're all level 30 and up. Well, I needed a challenge anyway. Ezra, don't you see? You are the... Last piece of the puzzle. The simple foot soldier's sacrifice saved the world, and in gratitude, the royal family gave his descendants an honored position in the palace. Here we have his last descendant. I am the last piece of the seal. The other two portions of the blood seal have been broken. Yes, you saw to that. And now I am going to fix that mistake. Oh, he has the messed up hand too. Neat details! 
You are the only thing standing in his way. This is what he can do with his hands tied. You cannot even imagine what would happen if he is completely freed. All he needs to do is get a hold of a single drop of your blood. He? You mean Esley Tenok? You still do not understand, do you? We are not working with some abstract source of power. He is a being, an intelligence, as real as you or I, and far, far more dangerous. And you are bald. Neat. We, I, traded partial freedom for a small portion of his power. And my hair. It used to be long, flowing, and beautiful, but no more. He is not content in his prison. He hunts for you. Even now his minions search the wasteland for your blood. There is only one way to be safe. You must die. Madness is often convincing. You just seek to increase your own power. You weaken the seal and now command the dead themselves. Now you seek greater powers by breaking the seal altogether. You think all of this is me? What proof must... No. Believe what you want. You still must die. Brother... I hoped you might understand. No! I will not let you murder another innocent. I will not let innocents bind my hands while the world burns. Revenant, attack! Well, that was a fun dialogue. Oh, hello, Thag. How can I hit these guys when I can't see them? Same way you've been doing it so far because we've already done grinding against them. They seem to be producing some kind of cloud around themselves. How can we fend them off then? I think I can dispel this darkness, but only for a moment. That's all I need. Yay! Things that I've already discussed and covered and talked about and all of that, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, whoops. I accidentally ran out of the PSI, so hopefully we can kill everything. <laughs> let's go. I said let's go. Come on, enemies, you're, uh, holding me up here. Yay, we're killing things! And so, over here, we're having slightly better luck at the killing. Over here, less so, because, uh, no, uh, white magic going on. But hey, we're still managing to keep things at bay. And not enough for any sort of level ups, I don't think. Oh, wait, just enough. Yay! And yeah, overall, this level right here is not so bad. Nothing comes into play with the water or anything that's purely decoration. Zap you. And uh, so all you have to worry about is just these. And funny thing, if I'm remembering correctly, in extreme mode, they only come from the two side ones. Nothing comes down the middle. I don't really understand why that is. You'd think that they would have the uh, middle one empty up until then, but... Whatever, they're a their game, they can do whatever. Zap! Uh, let's go ahead and add a little bit more freezy pop. Add a little more a little more stabby time. A little more arrows. And speed it up! Yay! Uh, yeah, pretty much just watching it at this point, because apparently uh, us being at level 30 is better than them being in the upper 30s. So that's pretty cool. I always found that interesting in video games. You can level up just a little bit and be stronger than things for several areas. Despite them being like twice your level in... Whoa. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. Increase the attack speed. Increase the game speed. Yeah, that's nice. And I like how sometimes... When you kill them, or just sometimes at random, their little clouds, their uh, little smoke clouds or whatever they are, will just keep on moving without them. Yeah, let's speed this up. We don't have to worry about the ones evading now. Uh, for safety. Oh, nope, we're done. <laughs> cool. Warrior Monk's Habit. This heavily padded monk's habit is adorned with the symbols of the ninth branch of the Cellini. House Militant. Defenders of Truth and Order. Neat! And it looks a little bit like, uh... Like Yandel's. Except different colors. And yay, he finally gets something that doesn't smell of cheese. Nice. He's probably going to be very happy with that, and the fact that... Oh, wow, it's only a four-point difference. That's a good coat. <laughs> oh, but now she needs something. Well, now she can smell of cheese. Yay! 
Sort of. I doubt she'll appreciate that as much. Well, that was a lot easier than I was worried it would be. Yeah, it actually was fairly easy. The uh, dark ones aside, that went very well. Trust me, that was only the beginning. We can't risk an open battle. Not with Zelomir leading the enemy. Especially with him, like, right behind you. I know an escape route through the sewers. Oh, yay, the sewers. We must move before the enemy has a chance to regroup. <laughs> yay, sewers. Because everybody's favorite thing to do in games, running through sewers. You guys may have forgotten this, seeing as we've all been without the more convenient elements of civilization for a while now, but... See, the thing is, sewers are full of sewage. Hence the similarity in the sound of the words. Crazy, I know, but you can trust me on this. I'm a librarian, I work with words all day. What I don't work with on a regular basis is the poop of dead civilizations. <laughs> uh, I really like the humor in this. I was kind of hoping to keep it that way. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there for those of you that are listening. Which is nobody. That's okay, Ezra. I'm listening, and I agree 100%. Thanks, Ezra. It's nice to know that somebody cares about my opinion. Well, she's lost it. We should look out for each other. We're pretty much the only sane people here. Thanks. It's really nice having someone to talk to. Oh, wait. He was here. Um, ahem. <clears throat> oh, hey there, Ed. How, um, how long have you been standing there? Pretty much that whole conversation. Oh, I was just, um, I'll... I'm just going to go hide in a closet for the rest of my life. See you later! Always with the crazy chicks. Why? Why me? Next time I'll just say thanks for saving my life. Before I go swearing an oath of undying loyalty, you don't happen to be pants on the head insane, do you? Hey, stop talking to yourself, weirdo. <laughs> Good old slag showing up just in time to be hilarious. Yeah, that'll be a fun time. Yeah, there it is. Uh, just the split for whatever reason. I have no idea why, unless it's to. Well, no, uh, having them in all three places that would divide their attention, the uh, fighter's attention. So this way they're going to be focused. I don't understand the reasoning there. Weird. Oh, what is next time? Because I seem to be averaging about two, two and a half each, uh, each video. So, oh, yay, it's this one. They come from three different areas, with some of them, if I recall, yep, we get water walkers again, yay! And we finally get a new weapon. Oh, crap, it's the one with all the water walkers. <laughs> Fortunately, that's for next time. Oh, and yay, uh, next episode, if I'm, uh, if I'm not too mistaken... Next episode, we should be coming across the uh, special thing where we've been getting all of the dings recently. So, yay, I get to talk about new things. But anywho, this has been Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.